Sí. No, pero esto no lo vamos a llevar, quiero comprar. Okay. No, y queríamos, eh, pues nada más, eh, ya tomamos como varias escenas allá afuera de la cara del museo y nada más. Sí. Si sí, ya no alcanzaron el pollo, acá no lo descontaron. Ah, no, sí, 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 vi la escultura, sí. sí la bueno. vi en internet. Ah, ¿Precisan más ejemplares o...? Eh, pues no sé, a lo mejor si sí tienen más... A ver, ¿cómo se no. Pero el, el curador en ese entonces fuera, era Carlos Palacios. Carlos Palacios. ¿Cómo se siente con el It's crazy. It's like a full, full circle, like 10 years go by, and then, you know, they printed, I don't know how many of these, you know, a couple thousand probably. And, and I remember the exhibition was so popular that they disregarded the rest of the calendar and they just, they extended the exhibition for another, uh, for six months because so much youth was coming into the museum. Not, not, not so much the adults or the common people, but there's a big wave of, uh, of the youth that just, flocked to the museum because it was like a, it was a revolutionary moment, you know, in, in the art. Wow. That's so and, so weird to see this. Yeah. Like the museum was packed with people. I think it was, there was a party uh, sponsored by Indio, Cerveceria Indio. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody was like taking pictures with me. And it, was, it was insane, dude. It was like, is this real life? It was like, But if they don't have any more copies, we should at least take these two, mm -hmm. because... I think you should leave one here, man. Because, no. you know why? Because when the documentary, when this documentary drops, there's going to be another influx of people with any artist that are alive for two hours. Mm. At the moment? Um, mm. Man, that's tough. But I mean, since we're in Mexico, I, I would say uh, Diego Rivera, obviously. You know? Because he was a character. He was, he, I mean, he was a brilliant technical painter, muralist, but he was also a character. And he, he had a lot of charisma. He was very educated. He went to the best schools, you know, in, in Paris. And, and just, you know, he was very educated. And, uh, And he had this like, just get shit done attitude too, you know? Very, a little machista, but just, no, just very like, balls to the walls. He wasn't just like the typical pansy painter who... First question you asked me. No. What is art, what is art to you, you know? Maybe we'd start from there. But, I mean, those are questions that I, I mean, yeah. But it was more than anything, I, I would just like to like, just be around him. Sometimes you don't have to ask questions to people. You just, you're around them and you understand. They take you places or they show you little things and shit, you get it. You know, some, some of my biggest mentors, we don't even talk a lot. We just hang out together. And then just by being, your presence is very powerful. Like that in itself leads to, you know, under, yeah, and wisdom too, and wisdom, right? So.